This year marks the 25th anniversary of our partnership with the National Garden Scheme and over the last 25 years you've raised a phenomenal £6 million to help Hospice UK and Hospice Care up and down the country and we couldn't be more grateful. So we actually own 135 acres of uh, woodland and we're so fortunate because it's really well maintained. We have a huge team of volunteer garden workforce that come and maintain um, the lawns and the plants and it's just such an amazing space for children and young people. So the first time this year we did open it to the public and that was really important to us, A, to show off the beautiful grounds that we've got and you know to understand the benefit of being in a place like this but also to raise awareness of what children's hospices do. I mean the pandemic affected us uh, as a family catastrophically as it did a lot of people but particularly with our um, it's a family set up. So Ruby's care is quite complex, um, she requires 24-7 care um, and that's facilitated by the hospice so we're able to come and enjoy the space and have a break. She loves music, she likes to be out in the garden. We've got wheelchair roundabout and wheelchair swings that she can use but actually she just likes to be out feeling the wind on her face and just enjoying her time out here. For us as parents that's really important. To be able to do this job we need to look after our mental health and our well-being and gardens and nature and open space is key. Uh, I spoke to one family who'd been for one afternoon activity event in the garden and when she left she said that for the three hours that she was here she forgot that her child had a disability so that was really lovely. So thanks to the work that Hospice UK did around sourcing funding and campaigning hard for us to get some central funding from government during the pandemic, that enabled us to have some breathing space and some stability to continue providing the care that we wanted to. That was an absolute lifeline. Of course the pandemic isn't over and we are still grappling with the effects of Covid. But what you did last year by supporting Hospice UK helped us to focus on helping hospices. We could not have done this without you. So I wanted to say on the 25th anniversary, thank you so much for everything that you do for Hospice UK. It's more than you could ever know.